Welcome to Boots and Bonnets with Chris and Christy. I'm Christy, and today we are going to make a lemon icebox pie. It's old-fashioned. It tastes like you're at your granny's house, but we're going to do ours a little bit different. We're going to make a pecan crust first. Okay, the way you do that is you get two tablespoons of butter. Okay, and I'm just, you can melt it in a cup or whatever. I'm just going to pop mine right in the microwave and melt it just for a couple of seconds. And then I have also have a heaping uh, cup of pecans, and I've got a little chopper here, and we are going to chop them up even smaller than they already came. that's probably good we don't want them to be a meal but we don't want them to be as thick as they were before now y'all always ask me where I got this chopper I got this chopper about 20 well over 20 something years ago at Walmart it's a black and Decker I don't think they make them anymore okay to our melted butter we're gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar about a tablespoon and we're just going to mix that around till it's all stirred up together and then we're going to add our pecans if you're going to make a uh, any kind of dessert with a graham cracker crust this is much better always better to have this and you can make it really really easy Okay, let's stir this up again, and then we're going to put it in a 350 oven for about five minutes and toast the pecans. Now, that is optional, but I do think it tastes better to do that. So, we're just going to mix this around until it's kind of coated with your butter and your sugar, and then we're just going to press it, and then we'll just put it in the oven. If you're making a different dessert, not the one that we're making today, you could even add you some um, cinnamon and you could use brown sugar. You could use a sugar alternative if you are wanting to go that direction. But this pecan crust, believe me, is, it just makes your dessert go up a notch. Okay, I've got this pressed together and now we are going to slide it in the oven for about five minutes and we'll be back after it cools because this needs to be completely cool before i go to the, my next step so let's get finished with this pie we are going to take a softened block of philadelphia cream cheese and i've had it out so it could get to room temperature and we are going to cream this so it gets um airy okay so we got that pretty good creamed and we're going to add our rest of our ingredients this is so easy y'all and it is so good and we're just going to add a can of um, Eagle Brand milk, sweetened condensed milk. I want to make sure I get all of this off. Don't want to waste any of it. Okay, that's better. So, we're going to add this can of um, sweetened condensed milk. And we're going to add a uh, splash, probably about a teaspoon of, um, of uh, vanilla. Now, I have Mexican vanilla here. We're in Texas, and so it's easy for me to get the real vanilla. They sell it at our, you know, flea markets, um, you know, on the side of the road. 
just whatever. And so it's easy for me to get this. Y'all always ask me about that too. Um, it looks like this. And actually this big old thing cost me not much. I think it was less than $20. And so it's, it's just so good. It's real. So that's what makes it good. And then we're going to add a third of a cup of lemon juice. You can juice your own lemons. <laughs> I have done that and it's good. But today I'm not doing that. I am just using the real lemon. So we're kind of cheating. I'm going to stir this up a little bit just to kind of get those liquids starting a little bit and then we're going to cream this together too. And I threw my beaters in the sink so I'm going to have to wash them. Got them washed. <laughs> Okay, now we're finished with these beaters. And we're gonna put it in our cold pie crust that we made from the pecans. Now, some varieties that you can do with this is you can take some fresh uh, blueberries and you can just kind of poke them down in the, um, the pie where they won't show after you've got it in this shell. And then after it cools, you can always come back and decorate with some more um, fresh blueberries and some lemon slices. I'm not going to do that today because this is actually for someone. I'm making this for someone. And so I'm not sure how they, how they like blueberries. And so we're just going to do regular lemon. And after this completely cools, we are going to come back and I will decorate it with some uh, fresh lemon slices and uh, that's how I will give that to them. Now another option is you can um, take a can of blueberry pie filling and you can top it with that and that's that's always really yummy too. So uh, I like this recipe because it doesn't have eggs in it. I don't like to um, make stuff with raw eggs because you don't bake this pie. And so I like this one just omits the eggs. To me, it's wonderful, delicious, and um, tastes just like I said here at your grandma's house. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm going to chill it for a couple of hours and then we'll be back to do the topping. Okay, I'm at the church now, but I wanted to show you the uh, finished product that I decorated the top with. I just thinly sliced some uh, lemons and then uh, after it had chilled and was firm, then I uh, just put a few on there and that's it. You can also save some a little bit of these uh, pecan crumbles and you, if you wanted to, you could just sprinkle some on top like that and it would be also pretty. All right, we hope you enjoyed this recipe. We'll see y'all next time. Until then, keep looking to the east. Bye.